Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be sharing my five kind of favourite items that I have got in my kitchen at the moment. Something I get asked quite a lot in my YouTube videos and my Instagram reels is what items I use for what things when cooking. So for example, everyone wants to know what pans I use and what like blitzes I use and things like that. So I thought I would make a little video today sharing my five favourite things. Now some of them are investment pieces for sure, like this pan and my knife, but once you invest in them once, and if you look after them, they are honestly worth their weight in gold, I promise you. So what I'm gonna start off with is, actually, I'm gonna start off with my knife today. This knife is by Flint and Flame. I went to a food festival a few months ago here in Brighton, and Flint and Flame had a stall, and um, I wasn't looking to buy a knife, but when I went there and I cut a tomato, which I feel is one of the hardest things to cut in the kitchen with a blunt knife, I was sold immediately on this knife. So, as you can see, it has a protective kind of um, coat on it. That's not even what it's called, but I'm just gonna say it's a protective coat. And it has this stopper down here that when you lift up, it then releases the knife out. When I bought this, I also got a little sharpening block with it. I don't know if you buy it online, if it comes to the block, or if they were just doing this as a kind of promotion when it was a food festival, but I cannot tell you how amazing this knife is. Now, I would probably say we sharpen this knife about every three or four weeks, I would say. Investing in a good knife is definitely, definitely worth it. This knife alone was 65 pounds. I do not put my knives or my sharp instruments into the dishwasher because I like to keep them as sort of, I like to look after them as well as possible. So I just, um, once I finish using it, I just use my little dish matic, give it a quick sort of wash over, and then I pop it back into its protective sleeve and close the sleeve up as well so it doesn't like come off in the drawer so it doesn't hurt people. Um, one of my favorite things in the kitchen, honestly, it really, really is, and I do all my cooking now and all my chopping with this knife and this knife alone. Right, next I'll share a bit of a lesser expensive item. I would say one of my favorite little gadgets I've got in my kitchen is my weighing scales. But these aren't just weighing scales, they're also a measuring jug too. This is a Morphe Richards weighing scale. I've had this for many years now, but on the handle you've got this lever here that if you pull, it releases the bowl inside of it. And as you can see inside the bowl, you can measure the milliliters, you can measure the ounces. So it's a really, really versatile kitchen accessory. Once you clip the bowl back into the sort of cradling part of this, you can then press the zero sign on the arm and then you can decide if you want to measure things in grams, in ounces, in pounds, in cups, in milliliters. You've got so many different options to choose from. So it's a kind of like, I don't know, at least a two in one sort of appliance that you've got yourself there. Right, next, let me share my pan. Now again, this is an investment. This is a hex clad pan. I'm sure you've seen them advertised. This is what um, Gordon Ramsay loves, and he advertises this quite a lot, and they are amazing. This one pan was 100 pounds. So once again, it's an investment. However, I feel like I am so happy that I have this pan because it's absolutely amazing. The great thing about this pan, you can actually use steel on the pan and it does not damage it. It doesn't have the teffle kind of cover on here. So that's actually something that if the sort of teffle starts to break and come away and go into your food, it can be really harmful for you. So this is absolutely perfect. It can also be used on any stove. So we've got an induction hob. It can be used on that, it can be used with gas, it can be used with electric. You name it, this can be used on it. Another great thing about this pan is that it is oven safe as well, up to 500 degrees, which is a real bonus because I love cooking up a pasta on the hob and then I like to just finish it off with some grated cheese 
in the oven at the end. Like I said, it is pricey. However, it is probably the best non-stick pan I've ever used. What you need to do when you first get it is you actually need to season it like you would a cast iron pan. And then once it's seasoned and the more you use it, it just gets better and better and better each time you use it. So the non-stick becomes better as it kind of wears in. I don't know how that works but it does and uh, but yeah the thing I like most about it is if you've got I don't know say you want to scramble egg in here you can actually use the fork that you were sort of whisking your egg up with in here and you know it just will not damage your pan so yeah once again an investment but totally worth it they do bigger sizes smaller sizes they do pots in this as well haven't quite mustered up the uh, the strength to invest in another one just yet but this one treats me so good okay so next up i definitely think every kitchen needs a good chopping board this one is actually just from ikea i wouldn't use meat on this chopping board um, i have a um, joseph joseph chopping board the red one that i use for my meat and then this one i just like to use for kind of everything else but as you can see it's a really really good size and it's also nice and heavy as well which means it's not going to kind of like move around on your worktop like you do have to put quite a lot of force onto it to move it but um yeah it's a really really great board and i think this was about 25 pounds from ikea the last kitchen appliance that I wanted to share with you is this Bosch. This is their Ergo Mix. So what I love about this is, again, it's quite a few different appliances in one. Now, I had a onion dicer, which you guys know I absolutely loved. However, I have been working with Bosch recently, and this was one of the items that I worked with them on. This isn't part of the... Um, the pay promotion that I've been doing with them, but I just love this so much that I wanted to share it with you. So this now is my onion dicer. Um, and as you can see, it's got lots and lots of different sort of attachments you can pop into here that does different things. You've got the onion dicer there. If you want to take that out and pop this one in, you've got a slicer here, and you can just kind of pop this lid on here, and then you put your ingredients into there, you push this down, it slices things up to perfection. It's absolutely amazing. Then what you also have, this all comes as one, what you also have is a handheld blitzer too. So it's really easy to just pop that on and then you've got a kind of quick release here. Press, pop that off. You can whisk. The great thing about this Bosch Ergo Mix is that it also has a speed adjustment at the top. It has 12 different speeds, which means if you want to blitz anything down to a different consistency, then you can do really easily. It's honestly, it's amazing. So it is just kind of um, one appliance, but it does so many different things. And it also comes with a little lid so that if you make something and you want to store it in um, your fridge or your cupboards, you can do really easily as well. So it's absolutely perfect. And instead of me now having a handheld blitzer for something, an onion dice for something else, a slicer for something else, I have got it all in one place. So those are the five items I wanted to share with you today. I really hope you found this useful. If you want to see any other items that I have shown like previously or sort of other items that I would recommend in the kitchen, then I would love for you to let me know because I will make another video like this because I have many more than just five that I want to share with you. But I wanted to kind of condense the videos, make them look little kind of like bite-sized videos instead. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll link all the different um, appliances that I have mentioned down below in my description box. And so yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.